Oh my god, who is this? I have shame. I have shame. I've not been uploading on YouTube. I repeat, I've not been uploading on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name's Anushka. I know, I know, don't come for me. I know I haven't been uploading much on here, but your girl will be back. I thought I would do a little chit chat catch up video with you guys and show you what is my go to everyday glam. This is a look that I'm gonna wear if I'm going for brunch with the girls. This is a look that I'm gonna wear if I'm going for a quick lunch with hubby, a shopping day with mum and my sis. It's just like that kind of everyday, you wanna look put together and cute, but not too much. Skin is skinning. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, grab a cup of tea or a drink, and we'll jump straight into the video. Oh my God, how have you guys been? I haven't done a chit chat video for YouTube in so long. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Social media is a bit cray cray. YouTube's my baby and I can't, I cannot let it go. Like I cannot let it go. If you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I do post like everywhere else, but like with YouTube, I've been doing mostly vlogs, but I have not been consistent. Like I've always, always been. If like there are any like videos or products you want me to try out, let me know, let me know. I know like House, House Labs, House of Labs, that's on my like radar. So I'm gonna try and get that. That one's been highly, highly requested. But other than that, just let me know if you guys wanna see anything specific from me. I'm using the By Ellie brow texture. I've been using this every day. Like it just sets your brows in place. It does the job and I really, really like it. It gives more of that like fluffy look. And then I get my finger and I just kind of like press the hairs in place. I'm gonna use my Nivea Dark Spot SPF 50. I love this stuff. But let me know what's been happening with you guys. If there's anything special you want to share in the comments i know some of you don't really have like all the other like platforms i know there are like so many it's sometimes hard to keep up i know so many of you still message me and are asking for like more youtube videos because you guys don't have access to tiktok or you just simply don't really like the other platforms and i get it i get it i'm gonna go in with my nyx plump right back primer this stuff is bomb.com Makes your skin super tacky. <gasps> Don't even get me started on this stuff. Do not even. This is the Maybelline Skin Tint. I use the shade 45. I don't know what kind of potion they've put in this, but it's just so good. You can use a brush. I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender today. Look at that. Look at the shade match, please, please. This is an example where I should have done a review on this for my channel. But I think it's too late now. And I've done one on TikTok. But maybe I should keep like product, like foundation reviews for YouTube only. Like foundation and concealer reviews for YouTube. That will be like exclusive to you guys. So what have I been up to? So we went to go watch Oppenheimer, which is like been, it came out on the 21st of July. And on that day, Barbie came out. Oh my God, this is a recent discovery, but I cannot stop using it. It's the Max Factor Multi Perfector Concealer User Shade 6N. Literally a Tarte Shape Tape Dupe. It's got the fat doe foot applicator. It doesn't dry my under eyes. It doesn't crease. And it just makes my under eyes look really good. So when we went to the cinema, there was, there was like, a separation of the type of people that were there to go watch the movies. You had the Oppenheimer fans, which were probably Barbie fans too, but they just favoured Oppenheimer, which was me. And then you had your Barbie fans and they were all like dressed up in pink and like PJs. It was literally so cute. We went to View Cinema. They have, they have a limited edition candy floss slushy, which I still have yet to try because the queue was so big. We didn't even, we weren't even able to get snacks, guys. Like how can you go cinema and not get at least popcorn. Do you guys see what I mean with this concealer? Love an affordable dupe. Oh my God, the Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting. I use the shade Salted Caramel. Oh my God, I use this so much. Why is there like hair in it? That's gross. We're not about that life. Scrape that out. And I'm just gonna take some of that. You need to, you need to blend it on the back of your hand, people, because it's pigmented. Just apply this like I would with a bronzer. So yeah, I really did like Oppenheimer. It's not for everyone because it's literally, literally three hours of storytelling and dialogue. I didn't care. Like I was just so amazed by it all. This is what happens when you don't blend it on the back of your hand. But to be honest, even if you go wrong with this, it just blends out so easy. We love a bronzy forehead. Then I've been obsessed with the Refi Blush in Malaya. It's so gorgeous. You can tell I love this stuff. And I like to use a Huda Beauty Face and Cheek Color Brush. It's like a stippling brush. To be honest, stippling brushes with cream, it's just bomb. But look at this shade. It's like literally perfect for brown skin. 
it's like that perfect pink. Killian Murphy, Florence Pugh really stood out to me. Even Robert Downey Jr. From the last shows I watched from them, like they've aged, but I mean, that's normal, it's life. But I didn't realize, you know? Guys, can you see this blush? It's so, but it's so good. Okay, I love this nose contour pen by Pink Honey. I use the shade St. Lucia Love and you literally just go like this. brushes every time i film a youtube video my brushes are not clean kind of take a flat fluffy brush like this but it's fluffy but flat just kind of buff this out and it's just so easy to blend and it just snatches the nose look at that and i just go back in to fix the concealer in the center but on my nose love that blends so easy but before i set my concealer i just like to give it one last blend i'm gonna go in with my laura mercier powder this is the powder i use every day i also like the huda beauty one those are like my two go-to's just pressing that powder in i use this pot concealer by colourpop religiously it's in the shade moonbeam perfect for every day just blend that all over And also underneath. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but with Oppenheimer, I was just mind blown by the whole, the whole thing. The fact that when they did that, they didn't know if they were gonna blow up the world. Like they didn't know, but yet they still went ahead with it. They still did it. And to Oppenheimer, it was like this exciting science experiment for him. Obviously the US army did end up using it in Japan and a lot of civilians did end up losing their lives or being exposed to the radiation and then getting cancer and stuff like, it didn't really touch up too much on that side of things, but mostly on Oppenheimer and the bomb. But like the fact that it, they did it, the fact that it worked, threw Oppenheimer to the side like a trash bag and then went on and used his uh, invention on another country. They were in a war, but like my mind is blown. They're the only country I think, the last I read, the US is the only country that have used um, nuclear weapons, which I think is mad, like on another country. I felt kind of shit as well. I felt so helpless. I, I find... I just don't know why it, it exists. And then the other thing is, atomic bombs aren't even like the worst of it. There's something called the hydrogen bombs, hydro bombs or something like that, if I remember correctly. They're even worse. I didn't know something worse existed. So yeah, if you don't mind sitting there for three hours long and like listening to a story, then go ahead. The acting is insane. This, the visuals were bomb. I really enjoyed it. Like it was a 9.5 out of 10. I think, did it really have to be that long? I don't know. I'm gonna use my Essence I Love Extreme Mascara. You guys know I love this stuff. And then Barbie was supposed to, I'm gonna probably watch it next week. Apparently it's good. I'm not expecting too much from Barbie, to be honest. I have a feeling I'm gonna cry because I absolutely love uh, the Billie Eilish song literally makes me so sad. I mean, Billie Eilish has that effect on me. She makes me sad, I wanna cry, but I just love her music. Her voice is just angelic. You guys know I can never not put mascara on my lower lashes, although I've been doing it more often. I was gonna put lashes, but now I can't put it. But then it was part of the look, so I'm gonna put them anyway. Oh, should I put them? See, when it comes to lashes, it really depends on my mood. Let's just see what this looks like. When I put falsies, it just looks a certain way. It just gives a certain look. It looks neat, it looks put together. Oh, I miss doing this. YouTube. Do you know what? Today, I actually received some words of encouragement. And I think, especially when it comes to YouTube, I think I needed to hear it. And it just instantly motivated me to like just film because I was thinking in my mind, like who watches YouTube anymore? I don't know, maybe I was too blindsided by, I don't know, less views. Cause obviously you want people to, you know, see your content. I always said consistency is key on any platform and I haven't been consistent on here. So I'm gonna listen to my own advice and I'm gonna film content for YouTube. I think we need lashes, do we? This mascara is just so good. It's just so good. I'm gonna take the same brush that I did with the blush and I take some of my Refi uh, highlighter and I literally take some on the back of my hand just a tiny bit and I blend it with the brush and just blend it on my cheekbones it's like the perfect like glow from within then what are we gonna do what are we gonna do I'm gonna take some of my NYX micro brow pencil in the shade black and we're just gonna fill like any sparse areas here because they're looking a bit they're looking a bit bold 
Your girl's also into books now, like who have I become? I do have a book talk account, so if you guys wanna check that out, feel free to do so, I'll leave it in the description box. But are any of you into reading? Like I have been reading, I'm not gonna bore you guys too much because I know this is a makeup page, but I have, I have been vlogging my reading, I'm doing a reading vlog, and I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but I just wanted to share it. So yeah, that's what I've been filming for YouTube. I'm currently reading the Akatar series by Sarah J Mass, and when I tell you it's, it's an experience. It is, I'm completely sucked into it, guys. I cannot do anything else but think about that, the, the books, because it's a series and I'm on the second one. But if you have read the Akatar series, let me know because it's bomb.com. Um, so that's, this is why I had to make a book talk account so I can like talk to people who love books as well and not bore everyone around me with my book talk. Okay, brows are looking good. Lips, what do I wear on lips, to be honest? I have been loving the P. Louise lip pencil in Shady Lady. I don't know how much these are. I think they're quite affordable, but it's literally a matte cork dupe. And then, oh my God, where is my lipstick? This Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. It's literally so pretty for every day. Look at that. Please. I'm gonna finish off with some setting spray. Okay, so literally this is my go-to glam. Like if I'm going to brunch and I'm gonna meet up with friends or like hubby and I are gonna go for like a quick lunch, this is what I'm gonna go for. I know I can trust it. I know I look put together. I look cute. And these are a lot of products that I do reach out for. I mean, uh, there are a ton of others, guys. I just switch between them, but this is the stuff that stays on my desk, my very messy makeup desk. So you know these products are good. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this little chit chat, get ready with me. I promise I will, I will stick around guys. I will continue to make videos on here, but just please let me know what you wanna see. Let me know what you wanna see, okay? I mean, it probably doesn't help if my camera runs out of battery, but just in time guys. So yeah, that's enough blabbering on from me. Thank you so much for sticking around guys. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and I will see you in my next video. Bye.